What's up, guys? We got an unboxing today here on the stash. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new WWE official retro four pack. Got to point at it a lot. Um, this was just announced or released on Tuesday. It's Thursday and they've already came in. So shout outs to Mattel. You guys are absolutely killing it. Um, I like these because I like them because they're like retro figures. They're like the old Hasbro figures. Um, they've had four sets of these. I have, this is my third. I still have to buy the Bret Hart, Jim the Animal, Neidhart one. This one has Phantom of the Opera Undertaker when Mabel crushed his orbital bone. We have Vader. We have Jerry the King Lawler. And we have, oh, yes, Paul Bearer. That's my Paul Bearer impression here. Um, taking a look at the side of the box, you got the same sort of pictures here. The back of the box, you know, nothing crazy going on. I keep these sealed, and I know some people are going to want to see them um, out in the open. Let them breathe, as Mr. Cardona would say. I'm not letting these breathe. If I bought two sets of them, I might let them breathe. But with just one set, like, no, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of weird like that. It's it just to me, like, I like these because they are like the old Hasbros. So I want to keep them in packaging because I hardly have any inbox Hasbros. Let's be very careful here with this tape. Get it to come off. Don't rip off anything from there just in case one day I get really poor and I have to sell all these. And, you know, that's what I would do. All right. Let's see who's first. I do like that these come with like a protector on them. There's like this plastic protector you could see here. It's like raised, like that's super awesome. All right, so first off we have Vader. Um, I think this looks pretty good. The Vaderizer is the real action here. We have Vader time on the suit. We have the hair that looks like a bull. I'll bring it up nice and close here. I think the face looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's got that Vader yell face to it. And this would have been a really cool Hasbro back in the day. Obviously, he just came in um, too late when they weren't doing the Hasbros anymore. But I like this. I, I like this Vader figure. Uh, the facial hair, I don't know, it looks a little too thick. It's kind of a minor nitpick. But, hey, I bought these with my money so I can nitpick if I want to. Uh, let's see here. Here is... Oh, man. This is... The Paul Bear is killer. Oh, man. Look at how good that looks. Look at how good that freaking looks, man. We have the Undertaker's Urn. Oh, yeah, it's reversed. Over here, the Cremation Crush on this. Beautiful. Be that Dude, that is so good. That is so damn good. Very impressed with the Paul Bear. Perfect size. This, this might be the figure of this set. Like, I don't... I'm not a huge... Like, I'm not a huge fan of Jerry the King Lawler. I think he's a weirdo. I never liked him. I didn't grow up watching Memphis wrestling. If that angers you, I'm sorry. But here's Jerry the King Lawler. We'll save The Undertaker for last. I don't know. The outfit is nice. The face, though, I don't know. It just seems a little, little weird to me. I guess it's fine. Um, I do wonder if that crown comes off. I'm not opening it, so I won't be able to find out. He has the crown punch, a pound. I mean, I don't know. It, it's fine. He kind of has like a people's elbow or people's eyebrow going on there. It's fine. It's fine. And and this is my least interested person in this set so it can be fine i don't need it to be good and then we have the dead man himself not bad they went with the all white eyes let's see if i can get that there we go i'm not quite sure why um i like pupils like he has pupils in the in the picture here but i think the attire looks really good the mask itself looks really good the the lack of pupils is is kind of interesting he has the dead man drop what up dude um so yeah you know this this one's all right you know i would say if i had to rate them i would probably put this one third i would probably put vader second paul bearer first cuz paul bearer just looks fucking amazing and then jerry the king lawler in a distant fourth because I don't really like them. So those are the new 
WWE Legends 4-Pack Mattel figures. Let me know what you think of them in the comments section down below. I made this video simply so I can write these off on my taxes now, but I figured that people were going to be interested in these, so I would show them off a little bit. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video in the next episode of The Stash. Later.